My name's Bob Schmidt, and I've made an XL Moving Shapes game I call Shoot for the Moon. The uh, folder contains PNG images, background images, wave sound, and uh, my Excel macro enabled workbook which is the game we open it up all the uh, <coughs> shapes in this uh, game have to be placed in one at a time starting with uh, the very first one is that you want to be in control of and then all their shapes applied in a row across the screen uh, I usually name them I've named all these like rectangle 1, rectangle 2 rectangle 3, etc and then I go through and set their positions uh, one thing I'd like to say is uh, the screen recorder I'm using is a little bit laggy so my mouse position wherever I click is not actually where I am clicking and everything seems to go a little bit slower with this so the images move a little slower. Uh, this is level 1 that we're on right now. Level 2 everything with a starting position and level 3 everything in a starting position so anytime you hit reset it's going to take you back to level one if you crash you're going to be forced to go back to level one and start over but uh, I'd like to sh demonstrate that yes this is a uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet say you can view the grid lines I can go to page layout. I've got background set in here so I can delete the backgrounds. I'll put the background back in and I'll also remove the grid line so we can get going. Uh, one thing when you do open this up you want to make sure you double click up on the uh, toolbar to reduce the size because when it's uh, full size you don't see the whole screen and you got to scroll up and down so make sure you double click on the toolbar to so you can see the full image in the code I think the the main thing even if you just do a, a level one sheet or one sheet is to uh, on this reset I have all the position shapes for level one uh, their top position their left positions across the screen same goes for level two and level three uh, in uh, this level one module I've got the name of everything throughout level one level two level three in the modules but uh, the first thing you have is the speed and then you got the position it travels to how far over it travels left and then it, when it gets to that point it returns to its original position now some of these move uh, in like this one the last uh, shape in here moves uh, from top to bottom so it's got its uh, it travels, it starts at uh, uh, positive position at the top and moves in a negative direction. It moves, starts at the bottom, excuse me, moves in a negative direction toward the top and and uh, at a negative speed. Everything else is a positive speed except for this one, the right slug. It also travels, basically it's traveling to the right and then back to the left. So... 
uh, down here I have some ranges set for when it gets to the end of level 1 it will move to level 2 uh, some scoring ranges and then this area in here is uh, detects the collision if one collides with another and if so that's gonna call either if you if you go past the range you're gonna get a score otherwise you're gonna call either use a form alerts or sounds and possibly a reset if you have to go back uh, in the forms I've got basically you lose game over you can pause it you can't go down below the bottom of the screen where the controls are at or it's going to force you to start over and then finally if you win so let's go through this once and I'll try to explain this. this the start button the pause button and the reset button are just that what they say the gray arrows in the center the gray excuse me the gray buttons in the center of the arrows are also just start buttons for the level you're on the gray arrows you have to repeatedly push and that will push you ahead a little bit at a time the red arrows if you push those that's a continuous speed in that direction after you push a red arrow you can push the the gold brown arrows and click those and you can move faster across the screen if you want to slow down at any time hit the start button or one of the gray buttons in the center of the arrows so I'm going to start out fast on this and go to level 2 and do a little clicking on the gold arrow to get me ahead a little bit and jump through here see if I can make it before I get hit There are several ways to get through level 2, but I'm going to skip those for the sake of shortening the recording. And I'm going to drag the image over here, hit start once more. Speed across to level three. In level three, the uh, Apollo capsule turns into a lunar lander, and you got to try to get it across. I'm going to probably crash it on purpose just to show you what happens when it does hit an object. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Go back to level three real quick. I'm going to move the lander over. You got to get to the center of the moon to win the game. So if I shove it over there and hit start and push it ahead a little bit. And so you get your user form pop up. A little flag pops up, pops up on the moon. Hit reset, go back to level one. The other thing I want to show you with uh, one of the user forms I showed earlier. So if you start the game. Boy, everyone is stupid Boy, except everyone me. Everyone is stupid except me. So basically the little gray line, you can't go down below where the controls are at or you have to start over. If you, if you crash... Apollo 1, it's going to blow up and drop to the bottom. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Quite a fun game. Uh, this was made on a 46 inch television for a monitor. So if you try to download this and use it on a PC with a different resolution, you're going to have to resize images and also probably reset a few positions in order to make it work. But basically it's just out there to get the idea of how it's made.